welcome to my channel creative art i am nilima and today we are going to do a resin art using a newly launched resin products from itsy bitsy so friends do watch the complete video to make it yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification for each video i post every week all the materials to make this beautiful resin art are mentioned in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them so let's quickly check out all the materials now friends for this diy first of all we are going to need art resin so for our art resin we're going to use expo art resin from little birdie so here we have the part a which is clear resin and part b which is a hardener this resin is approved for food grade once fully cured so you can make serving trays coasters or even cake tray or cheese boards using it next for colors we are going to use resin art pigments which are the same from little birdie i'm going to use green gold cobalt blue yellow bubble gum and sultan colors other than that i'm going to use the paper cups ice cream stick a gas torch masking tape shape it craft expo compound to make the stand for our base and the mixed media paste which is 2 in 1 gesso plus modeling paste to prepare our base for the resin art and a paint brush this time friends i'm going to use a round cut mdf board of 5 mm thickness and 10 into 10 inches in size and the most important thing for a resin art diy is to use your safety precautions which is hand gloves and a face mask friends as this is a art resin i will always advise you to take the safety precautions before you start preparing your resin till the end though this resin is food graded it has less odor and does not release any fumes but i won't advise you to compromise with your safety so let's start the video now friends first of all we will start by priming our base and for that i'm going to use the mixed media paste which is 2 in 1 gesso plus modeling paste i'm using the white color paste you can also use chalk if you want so using my brush i'll directly take a little bit of mix some water while using this paste as it is quite thick and then apply it all around your base now finally after priming this is how our base should look so i will let it get dry for at least 15 to 20 minutes and when it is completely dry we can start our next step Now after 20 minutes our base is completely dry and ready for our next step. So first of all using a masking tape I'm going to secure the sides of our base. So this is how you have to do it. Hold one edge of the masking tape in this way and start pulling it all around the base. Make sure that your masking tape is not very stretched. And finally cut the mask Now this is how our base looks after using the masking tape it is secured from all the sides and ready for pouring the resin. Now let's start mixing the resin. For resin we are going to use the Expo Art Clear Resin which is part A and Expo Art Resin Hardener which is the part B from Little Birdie. This resin is food grade once fully cured so that is the main reason we are using this resin for our cake tray. Next we're going to use different colors of resin pigments. So here we have lawn green, bubble gum, suntan, umber yellow, cobalt blue and gold. You should read all the instructions given on the back side of this bottle before starting mixing it. Little Birdie Expo resin has a mixing ratio of 2 to 1 by volume. So you don't have to use any measuring scale. You can simply use a cup or a spoon like this. So now I'm going to pour 2 spoons of clear resin in our cup. And then 1 spoon of resin hardener. And now using the same ice cream stick, I'm going to give it a very nice mix till I get a very clear color and the complete resin gets mixed up. Now our resin is ready and this is how it looks. It is absolutely transparent and looks glossy. So now I'm going to divide it into 6 different cups in just random volumes. Now let's start mixing the pigments one by one. 
first of all I'm going to use some red next I'm going to use just a little bit of yellow I think using just a little bit of pigment would be enough so this color is sun tan using a little bit would be enough I'm just thinking to skip the green color and let's add some gold before adding the pigments make sure to mix them very well now mix all the colors very well I'm just absolutely loving the way it looks and how bright and beautiful all the colors are so now after mixing all the colors this is how they look and they're absolutely ready for our pour so let's take our base right on place right in the end I decided to add some cobalt blue so let's mix cobalt blue also wow it's a beautiful color now all our colors are mixed our base is also ready so let's start pouring the colors one by one from one end I'm going to start adding the cobalt blue using my ice cream stick I'll just level it a little bit next from this side I would like to add the plum this is a very very beautiful color I'll keep just a little bit for the end and finally for the center I'm going to add red I'm going to keep just a little bit for the end again I do have a lot and a lot of gold so now for some gold I'm going to add yellow randomly just try to fill the empty parts for all the yellow we have and finally we have the lightest color which is the sun tan color give it a very very nice mix and we'll start pouring it now wherever you see a empty part you can just add other colors as you want and finally we have some gold remaining now this is how our resin art looks when we have poured all the colors so now i'm going to use my gas torch and blow out all the bubbles okay after the gas torch we will let the art be in the same way till more 10 minutes and then we'll do our next step now after 10 minutes using our ice cream stick we'll start drawing our pattern in this way After 24 hours, the resin is cured completely. I have also removed the secure tapes right on time just after an hour and we have got this beautiful and clean edging. So now friends, I'm going to use gold 08 fabricryl acrylic color with combination with blender 28 to color the sides of the plate as golden and then we will be making the stand. Now in a palette, add 2-3 to three drops of blending medium. Then add the gold pigment, using a brush mix it well and then apply it on the sides of the base without disturbing the resin. Now we are going to use a Shape It Craft Expo compound. It is a 250 gram packet for 150 rupees. You get a resin and hardener in it which you have to cut and mix in equal quantity so using a knife give it a cut in equal amount like this and then use some talcum powder in your fingers and in your hand and mix both of them in equal proportion in this way keep mixing the resin and hardener till you get one uniform color of clay 
now I have finally completed mixing this clay and this is how it looks and this is of one uniform color so let's start placing it in our mold for the shape of stand friends I have selected one of my cup pieces which I'm going to place in this way I absolutely love the shape of it and it is of perfect height and apply talcum powder all over it from the inside and now friends I'm going to bit by bit start placing the clay inside the cup and press it to the surface of the cup in this way so that I may get a shape of the cup. In the same way piece by piece add clay in the glass and then press it to the edges in this way. Now the third looks. Now I will place the final piece and complete till here. Now placing the last piece of clay right on the edge of glass in this way. Have some talcum powder on the edge and give it a nice press so that you'll get a smooth edging from all the sides. Merge all the clay with each other in this way. And then finally take some talcum powder and smooth out. I will cover the entire base using a talcum powder give it a very nice press in this way so that we get a very smooth and horizontal surface which is not exceeding the original cup size or the cup line okay so here we have got it now we will let it get dry for two to three hours and then finally we can take the clay out of this cup so now our base is ready so let's turn it out and find the center so that we can place the stand exactly on place and finally this is the point I have got my center what I do is I simply place a compass and then start measuring the entire radius whether it is equal from all the sides or not so here I have got my center let's take center for our cup Exactly, it should be fit right here so this is the center now let's move our stand out out of the paper cup I'm simply going to tear the paper from one side and then finally take out the stand for you now I have finally completed coloring our stand this is how it looks and our base is also ready I did have some excess of gold color so I did place it on the back side so now we have to stick the stand to our base and the hole should be very firm so here I am going to use fevicol I have placed some fevicol exactly on the center in this way I'm also going to apply some fevicol right on this base in this way and now friends I'm going to stick one ball of clay right here in this way and one exactly on this center placing the stand to the base is a very very crucial part so we have to make sure that this is a very fixed thing right exactly at the center point do not go out of the line and using a palette knife I'm going to make this kind of cuts and again place just a little bit of fabricol and place it exactly on the center this is the only time where you can make any kind of adjustment so using the using the measuring line you can easily measure that this is horizontal or not using palette knife I'm just making everything smooth and also checking the line whether I place it exactly in the center or not clean the excess now friends gently turn it out in this way and using a measuring scale you can easily measure whether this is perfectly horizontal or not and according to that you can clearly make any adjustments before the stand gets dry now friends our cake stand is completely dry this is how it looks from the bottom side it's absolutely golden it's strong enough to hold the entire stand I think it's a perfect size for a 10 into 10 size base and I just absolutely love the resin pour we have done on this base so finally this is how you can make your own beautiful and colorful cake stand yourself at home and use it for your birthday cakes 
Friends, if you did like this video, try watching more videos from the same playlist. The link is given in the description box below. And friends, do tell me in the comments below, how did you like this painting? And if you do like my paintings, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.